بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the most compassionate most merciful The seven heavens the earth and all those in them glorify him There is not a single thing that does not glorify his praises but you simply cannot comprehend their glorification He is indeed most forbearing all forgiving When you O prophet recite the Quran we put a hidden barrier between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter we have cast veils over their hearts leaving them unable to comprehend it and deafness in their ears and when you mention your lord alone in the Quran they turn their backs in aversion we know best how they listen to your recitation and what they say privately when the wrong doers say you would only be following a bewitched man see how they call you names of prophet so they have gone so far astray that they cannot find the right way and they say mockingly when we are reduced to bones and ashes will we really be raised as a new creation say o prophet yes even if you become stones or iron or whatever you think is harder to bring to life then they will ask you who will bring us back to life say the one who created you the first time they will then shake their heads at you and ask when will that be say perhaps it is soon on the day he will call you you will instantly respond by praising him thinking you had remained in the world only for a little while tell my believing servants to say only what is best satan certainly seeks to sow discord among them satan is indeed a sworn enemy to human kind your lord knows you best he may have mercy on you if he wills or punish you if he wills we have not sent you o prophet as a keeper over them your lord knows best all those in the heavens and the earth and we have surely favored some prophets above others and to david we gave the psalms say o prophet invoke those you claim to be divine besides him they do not have the power to undo harm from you or transfer it to someone else even the closest to allah of those invoked would be seeking a way to their lord hoping for his mercy and fearing his punishment indeed your lord's torment is fearsome there is not a wicked society that we will not destroy or punish with the severe torment before the day of judgment that is written in the record nothing keeps us from sending the demanded signs except that they had already been denied by earlier peoples and we gave the mood the she camel as a clear sign but they wrongfully rejected it we only send the signs as a warning and remember o prophet when we told you certainly your lord encompasses the people and we have made what we brought you to see as well as the cursed tree mentioned in the quran only as a test for the people we keep warning them but it only increases them greatly in defiance and remember when we said to the angels prostrate before adam so they all did but not iblis who protested should i prostrate to the one you have created from mud adding do you see this one you honored above me if you delay my end until the day of judgment i will certainly take hold of his descendants except for a few allah responded be gone whoever of them follows you hell will surely be the reward for all of you an ample reward and inside whoever you can of them with your voice mobilize against them all your cavalry and infantry manipulate them in their wealth and children and make them promises but satan promises them nothing but delusion allah added you will truly have no authority over my faithful servants 
and sufficient is your Lord as a guardian. It is your Lord who steers the ship for you through the sea, so that you may seek his bounty. Surely he is ever merciful to you. When you are touched with hardship at sea, you totally forget all the gods you normally invoke except him. But when he delivers you safely to shore, you turn away. Humankind is ever ungrateful. Do you feel secure that he will not cause the land to swallow you up or unleash upon you a storm of stones? Then you will find none to protect you. Or do you feel secure that he will not send you back to sea once again and send upon you a violent storm, drowning you for your denial? Then you will find none to avenge you against us. Indeed, we have dignified the children of Adam, carried them on land and sea, granted them good and lawful provisions, and privileged them far above many of our creatures. Beware of the day, we will summon every people with their leader, so whoever will be given their record in their right hand will read it happily and will not be wronged, even by the width of a thread of a dead stone. But whoever is blind to the truth in this world will be blind in the hereafter and even far more astray from the right way. They definitely thought they were about to lure you away from what we have revealed to you, O Prophet, hoping that you would attribute something else to us falsely and then they would have certainly taken you as a close friend. Had we not made you steadfast, you probably would have inclined to them a little. And then we truly would have made you taste double punishment, both in this life and after death, and you would have found no helper against us. They were about to intimidate you, to drive you out of the land of Mecca, but then they would not have survived after you had left, except for a little while. This has been our way with the messengers we sent before you, and you will never find any change in our way. Observe the prayer from the decline of the sun until the darkness of the night, and the dawn prayer, for certainly the dawn prayer is witnessed by angels, and rise at the last part of the night, offering additional prayers, so your Lord may raise you to a station of praise. And say, My Lord, grant me an honorable entrance and an honorable exit, and give me a supporting authority from yourself. And declare, The truth has come and falsehood has vanished. Indeed, falsehood is bound to vanish. <laughs>